Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to today's We Are One webinar. My name is Terry Matthews. I work here at the Scottsdale office in Arizona. And it's my pleasure today to introduce to you Ian Harris, who's going to be your presenter for today's We Are One meditation. Welcome, Ian. Thank you, Terry. Hi, everybody. Uh, glad to see you all, <laughs> even though I don't. But you see me, I hope so. Um, and here we continue. We are one. We continue taking care of ourselves, continue with self-help. And for my story this time, um, I was just thinking, you know, every time we have a presentation, uh, I'd like to present something that speaks speaks to me uh, to get you know deeper insight as well as just doing self-help uh, to have more insight into what's going on in the body what are the safety energy locks about so when i hold them i, I realize the power that's in there it's not me doing and uh, so often i i just begin to see relation i don't I'm not looking for relationships as much as Sometimes I'll just, oh, hmm, I hadn't thought about that before. And so um, today I'd like to talk about uh, safety energy locks uh, 14, which is right here at the bottom of the rib cage and along the, you know, on both sides of the solar plexus, 14 and safety energy lock two, uh, which is on the iliac crest, the top of the hip on the back. And they may, at first glance, may seem to be unrelated, except all for all of the safety energy locks are located on our supervisor, right? We have left supervisor taking care of the left side of the body and right down the front, up the back, the right side of the body. And so when we talk about the safety energy locks, we're talking in some way about supervisor all the time, okay? So 14 is on the front of the body descending, two is on the back of the body ascending. But where I came to see a relationship was, uh, Terry, can you pull up the um, uh, slides? So there's our introduction. And then the next one, and not, not a very Jinshin Jitsu-like uh, slide, but you see this posture. So if you look, so the at the 14s, right under the rib cage, you see is extended forward, and there's a tightness there. And and then uh, at the back, you know, around the twos, you see how tight that is. So so the butt is sticking out. And then the next one as well. So you can see, it's not gender related. <laughs> the same thing, really tight around the solar plexus, around the 14s, which then uh, engenders tightness on the, um, at the butt, you know, at the butt, at the two level, at the hip line. So it brought me back one day, I realized, you can, uh, you can take that off, Terry, so we don't need to look at this bad posture. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so this is a posture, I mean, those are extreme. And, uh, but for many of us, that's, we, we kind of move that way. We kind of hold our bodies that way. There's a lot of lower back tension and our, our solar plexus, our 14s are sticking out. So what are the 14s and what are the twos? And what occurred to me was many years before I ever studied Jin Shin Jitsu, I, was learning uh, Tai Chi, and uh, a big lesson every time was to for us to let our weight drop into the floor so that we are kind of weightless above and soft and not all bunched up. And, and it's similar to when Mary says, B, drop the shoulders, is that the weight drops through the body. And we were always told that this solar, plex area, solar plexus area, right, would soften. So if 
if I'm stuck here at the 14s, then I get tight in the back and my weight is all up here. When I let that drop and I'm not collapsing my body, but I'm just letting that soften, then the butt drops as well. And my weight, I become weightless. I'm rooted in the floor. And so this, you know, leads us to this effortless reality. So um, first, in self-help book two, Mary tells us we can, for the 14s, uh, we, can hold, we can hold the 14s or we can just hold our 19s at the bend of the elbow to help harmonize that 14 area. So that's while we're uh, talking and listening, he can just hold our 19s and just be aware of, I can just be aware of what I'm feeling. And after a few breaths, I start to notice that relaxation coming in general, but also in that area of the 14s below the ribcage. And so my whole abdomen begins to relax and my weight begins to drop down. So what is 14 about? Um, yeah, there you go, thanks. <laughs> so 14, thank you Terry, you're, you're ahead of me, <laughs> it's great. So 14, uh, Mary says, let me look at it, I can read it too, right? 14 came into the universe meaning equilibrium and sustenance. So equilibrium, we're balancing above the waist with below the waist, right? And there I've added in also, you know, it's my will, my desire level, right? Digestion. So a big part of uh, yeah, uh, the awareness of 14 for me is it's the beginning of my lifestyle, the beginning of man's lifestyle, human lifestyle, my desires, my wants, my needs, all about my will. Right? And I previously, I think I've spoken about how 12 on the neck, thy will be done, helps to harmonize 14, my will. So the 19 also helps to harmonize my will. So with my will, I'm aware of me. I'm aware of what I need, which is important. And very often, of course, we get stuck in that. So what am I hungry for? What do I need? What do I want? Okay. And so that becomes the focus and that's where the the tension comes in, right? Me, me, me. So I get tense there, which then, as I mentioned, begins to tense up the lower back. And then if you take a look at safety energy law two, that I have there. So two is, take a look at my book here. I can read Mary's words as well. So two came into the universe meaning life force for all creatures, wisdom. So this is helping the ascending energy up the back. So all of that life force coming from, from the big toe where the ascending energy begins which says perfect life power. So this life force for all creatures is coming up the back and entering the body. It's also wisdom. And another thing on which I put here also is seeing through the eyes of the creator. So 14 is about, you know, I keep seeing my way of seeing things, my way my desire to 
we begin to get wisdom. You know, one, uh, you know, we go from this self-consciousness to a broader thing. And, and uh, so Jin Shin Jutsu is the art of the creator through person of compassion. So we, with this, this awareness of seeing through the eyes of the creator, I begin to see other points of view and I don't get so stuck, especially in this time, what we're going through in the whole world, and in this country, you know, where everyone is at loggerheads, if I can see more, another point of view other than my own, and it's not to deny my own, but to realize that other people have different points of view, and that's becomes clear after a while. You see, what two people have the same point of view. So 14 is, I'm right. My point of view is the only point of view, and yours not. Well, that's ridiculous because of the 7 billion people in the world, we have 7 billion points of view, but it's all seeing through the eyes of the Creator, then we can accept each other, accept myself, and not get stuck at this 14. So that's when I began to see that relationship between the 14 and two. So when my solar plexus, when my 14s relax and my chest can come down, then my twos can relax and they come down. And I go from this posture, right, and then I straighten out. So my body becomes weightless. There's less tension in my back as the twos are helping the ascending energy. I guess um, for the moment, we don't need the slide. So if I can, thank you. So is this down the front and up the back comes more into rhythm. So we just keep 14, down the front is connecting heaven and earth. Heaven is above the waist, earth is below the waist. So 14 is stuck. If the waistline is stuck, nothing can go down and nothing can come back up. And so that again, the two gets stuck and the energy can't come up the back. This is energy of regeneration which is clearing the body. And as I was thinking about this and, and preparing for, for this webinar right now, for this We Are One, thinking about that. And then, oh yeah, well, by the way, 14, we harmonize with our ring finger. And two, we harmonize with our ring finger. So that may be a coincidence, but it's a lovely coincidence. So in this case, we can just hold our ring finger. And interestingly enough, so as I'm thinking about it, ring finger is harmonizes our second depth, which when we get stuck, the body gets becomes hard, solid, rocks and rods. So again, it's that my will. So as I release those rocks and rods, as I release that stubbornness, as I release that holding on to the past, I can drop down and relax. And that solar plexus is called solar plexus because that's where the solar energy comes in. Seven steps, the sun energy, the spleen, the spleen energizes, the spleen function energizes the whole entire body, all of the organ functions. So clearing this 14 again, and then another thing I noticed as I was preparing this, and this may be, uh, I know many of many of us are into uh, numerology and I, I love looking at the meanings, et cetera, of the things. And I don't know what's intentional or what's not from Mary's part, but it's interesting in the self-help book, Safety and Drill Act 2 is on page 14. So we have that connection. And then safety energy lock 14 
is on page 38, which three and eight adds up to an 11, so it's helping our shoulders drop. And 11, one and one is two. So we have them both helping each other. And again, maybe total coincidence. This may be total coincidence, I don't know, but interesting nonetheless. So I see this relationship. So if, if I see someone or I feel the tension in my lower back there, those twos, I know I'm probably really about getting my way. And if I can help to release that at that 14 level by holding my 19s or by holding my 14s, or by holding my 12 and 14 on the same side, or by holding my ring finger, any of those things, or 19 and opposite one. But this is very easy. This is very simple. And 19 is about authority and leadership. So maybe I can harmonize that, not only to get more authority and leadership, but to harmonize the need for it and just be my the authority of me, and not try to get my way. And also another connection. So 14 is equilibrium, and two is also uh, our, Mary called it our osteopathic chiropractor, it helps to balance left and right side, right? So two is our, she called it the body alignment specialist. So it's equilibrating, equalizing left and right side. So if the hips are out of balance, the whole body gets out of balance and everything goes awry. So there's that relationship between equilibrium and body alignment specialist. So a lot of connections. So in any of the safety energy locks, who is that safety energy lock? You know, what is it? What is the function? And to always remind me that I'm not just helping that area, but I'm helping that area in relationship to the entire supervisor that all 26 of the safety energy locks are connected, right? And to be aware of that. So keeping my eye on the big picture and what each of these areas, what is what part are they playing in the big picture? What role and how are they related? And I don't have to do it. And going back to my days of Tai Chi, I tried mentally to figure out how to do that, to drop my weight. And I couldn't do it, couldn't do it, couldn't do it until I got somehow in harmony with it one day, not through my effort, but suddenly found myself there. And, and then I realized what that was to drop, to relax that solar plexus area and everything shifted. I felt this huge shift in a moment. And it wasn't through my doing, it was just through finally it, it sunk in. So had I had Chin Chin Chitsu, I might have been able to hold my 19s or hold my 14s and it might have happened more easily or I might have been able to contribute to that harmony by holding. So, and maybe you notice that relaxation there no. And maybe even you can feel that as your abdomen relaxes, then so does your two area, your hip area drops down. And you may even notice then as you afterwards, you begin to walk, it feels different because your whole body is kind of weightless and you're not having to use so much effort just to hold yourself up or just to move. Effortless reality. So 
So again, 14 descending, helping us to exhale the past. Two helps our inhale, helping us to receive and that A sending energy to go up the back, clean out the body, and then we can exhale again. And then let go, and then receive, etc. And everything functions better, everything becomes simpler. You feel more relaxed, less effortful. And 14 also has to do with the head. It's our mind specialist. So it helps release all attention in the head, headaches, any, uh, any project in the head. And then the, the two helps to send energy back up as it goes, comes up the back and over the top of the head. So we're releasing down the front, clearing the head and then re-energizing the head. So all of those functions, all the brain functions, etc that are going on in the head. Our nervous system, how we react to things, how we move through things. Our endocrine system, all based up there. And again, Mary, I always see my mind notes, Mary reminding us to be the observer of the transformation. So as a jumper cabling, just hold it. And then you can feel with your fingertips or whatever part of your hand you're using. Go, oh, something is actually changing. I don't need to dig in to make it happen the spark coming from that sun, from the solar energy, coming through the jumper cable is then igniting the fire of my source, the sixth step, and helping this supervisor energy to take care of both sides of the body. I just only need to observe no doing, just breathing and observing. And seeing through the eyes of the Creator. do this all day. It would be lovely. Right? To help with our digestion after we eat, to help with my mind during the day, etc. To help with my breathing. And the diaphragm is also located right there. The diaphragm is this umbrella shaped muscle, which is right at the 14s. The diaphragm helps us to breathe, helps our heart to beat, helps our circulation. So we're clearing all of that. And the diaphragm also helps when someone has that posture of that chest sticking out, it helps to relax that whole tension in the chest, which in turn will relax the back. 
all of this, just simply holding on 19s. I know often we get into, oh, what else can I do to help? What else, what else? Just stay with this for a while. Feel this and enjoy this and see how it changes. And you might notice it now or you might notice it six hours from now or tomorrow. And just be, again, observe what's going on in the body instead of just adding on more and more self-help, which is always great, but a conscious self-help. And so with that, I thank you. I hope you have uh, come to remember where that I come from here, from that solar plexus. And as the name of this is, we are one, we are one in that seventh step, in that sun energy, always descending always feeding my personal source. So it's good to clear that area. That's in that area where the sun energy comes in to help our whole nervous system and connect us in the universe. So thank you, Terry. Thank you, Ian. For keeping it together <laughs> and for <laughs> managing my slides. Oh, you're welcome. It's really helpful. And thank you all for coming again. And um, so I hope um, we continue on, right? continue on safely, continue on practicing self-help, feeling good amidst this craziness and emptying the mind <laughs> so we don't get too caught up in all of what's going on. Thank you. Great, great. Thank you, everybody, for joining Ian and myself today. And just to remind you that um, a replay will be available shortly on YouTube um, on the Jin Shin Jitsu official page. Thanks, Terry. Yeah. Okay, and have a uh, wonderful rest of the day, week, and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.